Now friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to create the ellipse. So this is what I'm trying to do. I created the object for the ellipse. And then here you will see that objects. So the every ellipse has an axis called the X axis and Y axis, center X, center Y, radius X, radius Y. And then I create the group object. And then in this group object, I will just add all the children means two lines and the ellipse. So here it goes. And now, so it is just like the two lines are there X, A, just representing X, X because I want to draw the ellipse with the two axes, major axis and minor axis. Now here, I'm just trying to explain you that how the grid system works in um, graphics on computers, particularly in Java. So here you will find that suppose if I have a grid, this is a rectangular grid of certain size, maybe of 600 and 400, then you will find that every point position is located how far it is away from the edges. So this line is called X and this is Y. So how far it is from the end X is the X coordinate and how far it is from the Y is called the so 600 by 600 grid so the coordinate systems of the vertex is 600 400 is a rectangle and you know that opposite sides of a rectangle are same so this point will have the coordinate 0 0 so and this will have the full width 600 and 0 now this is 0 comma 400 so the uh, yeah 400 so it has no separation from the this one now this is 600 and 400 so it is how far it is from the 400 yeah this is the width and this is this so if you just go through the midpoint it will become 0 comma 200 and then here it can become 600 width and that is 200 all measured from the line on the left hand is this so here it goes and now see I have a beginning for this line then I have one for the next line so this is 300 and this is 300 comma 0 now if I come down at the center this is 300 comma 400 because full height is there and if I go at the center it will be 300 comma 200 and there I plan to draw the ellipse and it will be lying across the this vertical line so now here if I just see this is my ellipse it will have one major axis and one is the major minor axis so we can call the x radius and y radius so the ellipse have center and here x axis y axis center x center y just like those who have studied coordinate geometry they understand that we represent the points as x comma y is called as abscissa comma ordinate now right now abscissa is just the distance from the uh, end like the left hand line and then one from the top line so i create one more class circle class so I have two lines and uh, one ellipse and one circle. So this is the center x coordinate 300 and the center y coordinate will be 200. Means it will be just located on the 400 side where the width of the, like the center point of the rectangular grid what I have drawn in the display on the paint. Now I use the circle and CC. So I need to stop it because it's going to end some error. Now I redo again. And there you see that the, you have two lines and uh, ellipse and a circle. So here it goes. Now one line you are seeing, other line is not obvious because the coordinate system must not be different so maybe one line over the other 
and now we have to make some changes here that the cc dot first I'll try to make the size of the radius of the circle a little smaller so I make it since the measure axis is 80 to so 70 yes this way you can find that the circle will be inside the ellipse and uh, yeah here it goes and there you find that what actually it's going to be so now let me run the code again now here you see two lines are there one x axis y axis and this bulging part means inside ellipse the circle is displayed 